Good morning, everybody. Today we are hiking up the uh, Red Wine Man Way. We're going to go up to the old Settlers Trail and set up a little pseudo camp at Campsite 33. So we parked across Highway 321 and we're going to go find the Man Way and head up the hill. All right, the trick is when you enter the woods, find the Man Way. Beautiful rock walls along this man way. I've never seen one like this. This is pretty unique. Here's a red stain if you want a picture of it. Listen to the woodpecker warning everybody about our presence. See some monkeys go swinging through the vines. I've never seen one like it before. Well, Here's a pretty good size. Hearts of Boston plant. Hearts of Burston, is it? Because the box raisins is expensive. I bought a big canister of raisins about like this, and I dumped them in the floor. I opened them up this morning, dumped them in the floor. Well, Terry, you, you I and Sharon go all the time. His name's Terry. The courts. Now, to me, that looks more like a rose like that. What's some little red berries on the ground? That's a big log. It's an overpass. Yeah. If I recall, I wonder if my memory is correct. Got a baby hiking with us today. Who's your friend? Did you see the picture of that big white thing I took a picture of? On one of the trails? A nice little roto tunnel. So at nine tenths of a mile from where we parked across 321, we come out on the old settlers trail. So getting back, it's a beautiful trail, I love it. Getting back shouldn't be a big deal because we just look for this sign and a little trail right there. We're gonna go up this way to campsite 33, which should be about a tenth of a mile. Probably just a little over a mile. Took us about 45 minutes. We're at campsite 33. The north side of the trail is really good for tent camping. And the south side of the trail is better for hammock camping. We're gonna set some hammocks up, try out some new stuff. We're not camping though. There's the bear cables. I don't know if they're gonna show up in the in this video or not, but one set. All right, so we're up at Campsite 33, and we set our Smoky Mountain Hammock Company hammocks up. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, Terry's hammocks. That's not a shameless plug. They're not actually for sale to the public. We just make them for each other. Rob's has got a nice net on it. And then the bare butt tarp. We got a bare butt tarp, yep. 
We're just trying these out because we're looking for some really inexpensive solutions to hammock back camping, uh, camp, backpacking. How much, do you remember how much the tarps were? Were they like 35 bucks? Yeah, they were pretty inexpensive. Yeah. So, and they came with, uh, they came with uh, tie lines. It doesn't go the full length of the tarp, but the tarps are tape sealed and it's, it's double seamed right there. I don't know. I, I think really think we should probably run a piece of 550 down there or something. Rob's got his trekking pole out there as a tent pole, and he's tied off to a tree, but it gives him a nice little porch. They came with two stakes also. Yeah, two stakes. Were they T-bones or like ribeyes or? No, they're just, spike. they're kind of little, little cheap aluminum yeah. stakes. That's it, Campsite 33. We're at the top end of it, uh, south of the trail. There's a fire ring here. I don't think it's really a legal fire ring, but it's not one of the metal ones. And I'm set up over here with a one Tigris underquilt I'm going to try out. I'm going to take a little nap in this and see how it goes. Three season underquilt. I got it off Amazon for 39 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that. All right. Give it a try.